little video of Boomer. We are out at Kitty Creek Mall today, working outside. Um, really great exposures. There's busy traffic, there's people, there's other dogs. Um, just making sure that his obedience is looking good. With new environments, service dogs are thro often thrown into a lot of new situations at random. And so we want to set up those situations at random where we just go and we work around distractions. We have baby and stroller and a another service dog behind us. And we're just working on um, confidence building and um, obedience. So one thing I'm working on a ton with him is sit stays where we just ask him to sit and we go away from him. This can feel a little bit scary for service dogs sometimes because so much of obedience is with us right there, validating them that they're doing good things. Okay. And so as we start to incorporate more stay commands, we build confidence. Good job, buddy. Boomer down. Good boy. Oop, down. A little correction there. Good boy. Good job. Just want to make sure that he can do the things with distractions, with people. Um, we've come across a couple other dogs that are not in control, which is perfect because those are great distractions. Good down. Baby crying. Lots of things. Okay, Boomer. Good job, buddy. Yeah, good boy. Another thing, couple things we're working on is his speak around distractions. Sometimes he'll hesitate because so much of distraction training is being in control. You're in control when there's distractions and excitement and now we're asking you to do something that feels a little out of control. Sometimes there's a little bit of hesitation with him. So we'll, we'll show you. Boomer, speak. 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 Yeah, good job, buddy. Hesitation there. We make sure that he does it. I'm just exposing him. Boomer, speak. Good. Speak. Good. Good job. I know it always feels a little silly out in public. Boomer, speak. Good. But we want to make sure that he can do it in public. There might be a time Payne has a seizure in public. Sit. Speak. Good. Good. Speak. Speak. Yeah. Good job, buddy. And then right from there, going from chaos, we want to go right into obedience. Yeah because there's gonna be times the seizure is done and now we have composure and we wanna make sure that you can um, do that. So progression with him this month is we're gonna start having him bark as we fall on the ground. Um, what that's gonna do is actually create meaning behind him barking and not just asking him to bark. Um, I just wanna make sure that he can bark in new situations before we start doing that. So that's what I've been working on pretty heavily. He's doing really well with it, still a little hesitant, but that will come with time and get better and better. And so now we're gonna start having, instead of me saying speak to have him bark, um, we're gonna start doing it where I fall and he starts to bark. So that little bit of a progression. So what that will look like is I'll fall on the ground, I'll say speak, and over time, we're gonna phase out the word speak. Good. Good job, happy pants. So good. Go over here by these fun statues. City Creek is awesome. Coming downtown, lots of distractions. Boomer, sit. Good boy. I'm just leaving him there in that sit. I want to make sure he sits really well and downs really well. He gets a little nervous when I go away. He's like, what is happening? Why aren't you here to validate me? I let him kind of process that stress. Validation is good, but you don't need it all the time. Okay, good. Good job, buddy. Yeah, that's where we're at. Good job, Boomer. <laughs>